We are the higher and greater aspect of the fractal of Yara. We have been in your linearity waiting many months to speak. This is due to the fact that we have, with so many others, prepared you for the changes to come. You feel that your world is in disarray yet again, waging wars again, yet we have spoken to you that the pivotal years in your linearity of change will begin really and already have begun but the big beginning will be in your linear year of 2024 to 2030 and beyond but these are the years that we've been speaking about where you are realizing that or a portion of you that you are in the driver's seat and that you can take matters into your own hands yet we say that you still have to experience what you term extreme polarity or war you have experienced this in your galactic or with your galactic selves and you start to remember these polarities that are not only playing out so to speak on your terrestrial level but on other levels but as you are progressing you call this your ascension progress but do not forget that everything is always progressing and quote unquote ascending. The children that are being born now and have been born in the past seven years are pivotal players to help the millennials along the way. Yet, the indigos, as he called them, these are only categories that we do apply so you can understand better. You can understand bet better the terminology we are talking about. Many of you have turned big pages, as you call it, as you are getting closer to your heart space. Others have chosen different directions and many of you have chosen to leave this platform to go into healing beyond the veil because many of you that are here have traversed or so-called journeyed in different, let us say, systems where there were equal <coughs> genocides happening or are happening as everything is happening in the now. Your focal point now is change, change for your human collective. And you will experience in your linear years between 2024 and 2030, particularly huge upheavals, new reforms, so to speak, as we look at your human 
so-called level but at the same time there are so many soul fractals being incarnated here to hold the grid to hold the new grid there are equally also those who have come in extremely early in their 50s so to speak or your 1950s that are in their 60s to hold the grid there is assistance everywhere from everybody that you demand you are not alone these grid workers are equally important compared and there's no comparison so to speak to the new grid workers the crystalline children that are born here that will eventually so to speak in your linearity set the tone for many it is a decision time still we talked about this before that are many are deciding if they are leaving the platform or not and if they don't leave the platform that they are tackling this ease we say but also there are many changes regarding how you will follow and quote-unquote alleviate certain people that seek this the energetic way of healing and there will be a big wave in about 20, time, uh, 20 years of your linear time where basically your allopathic medicine and your so-called alternative medicine will find a sort of common ground where what you term artificial intelligence will serve but we've been speaking about diverging construct and it is just the wish of these particular soul fractals to experience something different we have been speaking to you a lot about creating and mirroring different timelines and this is still so it is just for the moment you feel again being in a spaghetti junction more so than ever but this will gain clarity particularly in your linear time 2025 where communication will change but there will be also clear divergences between your construct construct multiple as you choose your particular affinity or synergy with a particular let us say frequency match or yes frequency it is we say dangerous dangerous might be a too strong of a word to be too simplistic in cataloging your frequencies because everybody has their own frequency that they are projecting it might be what you term in fourth density it might be bobbing up and down it might be in fifth but it's a fluid process depending on how 
your state of being is. And some fluctuations for the moment can be very drastic. Hence, some will feel, quote unquote, thrown about even more than six months ago, than a year ago. Many equate years or linear years after what you term your COVID. This is something that you have set yourselves as a delineation to choose or not to choose, to choose something different. You are your free agent and nobody is judging but yourselves. Judgment will not lead you anywhere else except into more judgment and maybe more this ease and maybe more what you term hatred or duality. But you have to go through this phase. You do. You have chosen as humanity to go through this phase. And each and every one of you are your free agent. Nobody's dictating you what to choose. It's you that is choosing. And we're saying that again. But at the same time, we're saying that everything is always in motion. Always. Always. And there is not anybody out there that is pulling the strings. You are pulling your own strings. What you term deep state or the dark ones, no matter what, it's always your shadow side that you're trying not to look at. But many of you have started and we've been saying this in so many transitions been looking at the shadow side and the collective shadow side. Many have broken on it because it was too much to handle. But then, never forget, you never see too much. You see exactly enough so you can handle. So, we say, for the moment, for the moment, many of you are trying to make sense. And we try to understand, yet, you are all moving towards what you have chosen and there should be no judgment whatsoever because each and every one of you we say again chooses their own quote unquote goal but it's not even about the goal it's what you choose within this experience on this platform, so to speak. We understand when we refer to this as a platform and not a planetary consciousness Gaia, though there is planetary consciousness Gaia, but you are creating with each and every breath your own life path your own decision and this should in the end empower you though many many do not feel empowered but this shall come with time though there is a divergence 
and do please not judge. We say just to end this transition, stay in a place of love if you can, stay in a space of non-judgment, each and every soul factor out there, no matter what they're playing out, is as valuable as you are, even if you do not initially agree with what has been said. We do not dictate to you whether you should immerse yourself in social media or not, it's your own decision. You are in the driver's seat. We are only here to give you a so-called update. But things are so fluid all the time. And if you knew what beautiful beings you are all, all of you, what you might term the darkest ones, there's always light where there's darkness. We love you so much as creation is love and love is truly creation. We love you. <coughs> <Good>. <coughs> Bye.